Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and it's time for another edition of Tactical Book Review. Today's book is the Combat Leader's Guide, 14th edition, by MSG Jeff Kirk, Kirkham, Kirkham, U.S. Army Special Forces. Uh, this is the 14th version. This book's been around for a long time time obviously as you can tell so they, you know they, they update it periodically so interesting story about this book i originally started reading the 11th uh edition and uh, i was reading through this and i'm like man you know this would be this would be like, really good if they updated it because i was really liking what what they had like going on here and so then i did a little bit more research i'm like oh they did update it and there's there's all the way to 14 now so i should buy that so i bought the 14th edition and I did not like it. Um, here's, here's why I did not like it. Honestly, I quit reading probably about a little over half of the way through here. Yeah, about half, uh, maybe a little less, kind of right there. So the reason I didn't like it and it didn't work for me is because this is an extremely technical manual and it assumes that you're a patrol leader in the army, which, okay, I mean, to be fair, right? But as a person who's just generally trying to glean tactics and, and glean um, unit organization and principles of combat from books, this, this isn't the book for you in my opinion. Uh, because he goes into super detailed stuff here that doesn't apply to you. Uh, like dealing with motors and filling out uh, cards for indirect fire and calling in indirect fires and dealing with nuclear, biological and chemical attacks and, and, and stuff like that, that just doesn't necessarily apply to you. Uh, I didn't find this as compelling of a read because, it, it again, it's very detailed. It's very checklisty. Um, it goes through all the little details that you would have to do to operate in the corporate organization that is the Army. This book really reminded me of kind of reading like a corporate manual for some job at a large corporation. Here are all the things you need to do for your job. Here are all the checklists. Here's who all you need to do check with. Here's who your boss is. Who's who your subordinates are. Here's your HR manual. It, it, it kind of reminded me of that. And again, I'm not trying to slam him. I'm sure if you're a patrol leader in the army, hey, this is the book for you. Go ahead and read it. You're welcome. Um, but unless you're in that one specific job, I don't think you're going to really get a lot from this book, or at least you're not going to get stuff that you couldn't get from better sources that are more accessible and easier just kind of for the everyday American who wants to embrace his American heritage of learning about tactics and, and learning about combat organization and combat principles. I really did enjoy the first part of the 11th edition, and honestly, I might go back and, and read this now. I don't know. I kind of just got burned out and really decided not to keep reading. So. I may or may not go back. We'll see. I think that if you are going to read either one of these, you know, I'd probably go with the current one because the battle drills are really current in this one. The battle drills in the 11th aren't. Uh, but I would feel free to skip large portions of this book and I would feel free to use it as more of a reference uh, and a reminder than I would to just read straight through it. And to be fair, it's not designed to be read straight through. They say it's, they wanted to have like a pocketbook guide so that you can keep it on you when you're in the field, you can check it and remember what you gotta do. And I totally get that and I respect that. I'm just saying, for me, where I'm coming from, I don't think it's the best. Um, so if you do wanna read it, like I said, I would tell you to skip sections and just read the sections you're interested in or you think that apply. Um, and, and use it more as a reference material than as a, as a real reader. Hope that was helpful. Uh, do brave deeds and endure.